No blow ups yet. That's a bummer. Hey there guys, very different scenery. Today I'm on May Nagad Reservoir in Northern Thailand. And I came here to target a specific fish called Giant Snakehead, which has been on my top six bucket list fish I've always wanted to catch. And we rented a cottage, a floating cottage. So we're literally on the water right here. <laughs> he sitters behind me right now, fishing in her pajamas. She's already caught uh, some really beautiful spotted barb. And uh, what's cool about this lodge is it comes with kayaks. They got these tandem kayaks that was built in rod holders. They're just some cheap Hanuman uh, kayaks, but hey, that's all I need. We're literally right on the fishing grounds. Uh, we had to take a boat up lake yesterday about uh, 10 miles and uh, we're like one of the most uppermost resorts and this is just basically like three private floating cottages all chained together and you get all-inclusive meals and everything you can see here's our our dining area behind us and I'm just super stoked with this location um, so we're gonna go out on the water here after we get our breakfast and hopefully get into some giant snakehead. All right, let's get started. Really? Like a big splash? No, tiny, tiny. Mm. Right around there. Oh, yeah. I mean, remember they come up to gulp for air. It just looks like a little wrinkle, you know? This looks so good right here. No blow ups yet. That's a bummer. It's a little one. Oh, dude, don't get off, don't get off. Oh, yes. My first giant snakehead. It's a little guy, but it's my giant snakehead. Yeah, look at those teeth. Yeah, look at those teeth. Oh, that is awesome. I did it, sweetie. That's a bucket list fish. Okay guys, look at that. My first giant snakehead. So this is one of the six species I put on a bucket list that I just wanted to get knocked off in the next few years. And we came to Thailand and rented a kayak on a floating home. And look at that, Lil. look at the colors, the purple colors on that. Yes. All right, we're gonna get this guy going. Let's get him swimming. See you later, buddy. Sweet. He ate this uh, little prop frog. I get this shove back up in there. I pulled out the hooks all the way through. <laughs> yeah, he definitely destroyed that frog. Now I know why they use hard body baits on these guys. He did. Yeah, I mean it'll last a fish or two more, but that'll be about it. <laughs> but he hit that about 20 feet from shore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was doing a pretty good clip with it. Awesome. Let's get up and fish the back of that cove. It looks really good. Yeah. Oh, we just missed it. Right there. Why don't you try casting right there? Just try. It's just, yours is a different sound. Darn, didn't get him. That's another missed bite though. See, that's where I'd pay to have a Senko rod rigged up. And you cast a Senko in right in that spot. But you, the only, I would only cast it in an area where I got bit, you know? There's our timer, where time's up.
first, first evening snakehead fishing, we got three bites. I caught one fish on all on the prop frog from Lunker Hunt. Sidra tried a crankbait from river to sea. Got nothing. She tried a wake bait and then she tried a prop frog. No. And she tried a whopper plopper. And got nothing on that as well. The only thing that came through was the old lunker hunt. Now we're going to paddle back to our uh, lodge here. This isn't ours. We got one more island to get around before we're there. That's a really good start. We got all day tomorrow to fish for them too, so I'm pretty stoked. So you get your breakfast, lunch, and dinner when you stay here. Oh, we got this beautiful spread. Vegetables and mushrooms, looks like some pork, fried fish. And it's tilapia. Tilapia, tom yum soup, chicken wings, and egg and omelet along with some rice. And of course the view is pretty amazing. And there's our bedroom right there. So Citra and I have been fishing for a couple hours this morning. And we've had absolutely nothing. I've been trying frogs. She's been trying spinnerbait. She's going to switch up to something different. Oh, she's going to go with a buzzbait. Go on top water. So we're both using medium, medium heavy spin gear or bait casting gear. With 30 pound main line and 30 pound fluorocarbon leaders. These fish are pretty toothy. Not particularly line shy. Seems like hard baits and are the favored lure for these fish. But uh, we may experiment with some Senkos and stuff later in the day. We keep struggling here. Yesterday evening, we got our first fish. It was on frog. Dead. Dead as a doornail. There's something in the water there. Over there? That's a coot or something. Over there? No, right here in this weeds. A gallon of or a coot. Just about, just about straight left to where my gear just went in. Oh, it's hung up in something. It, it's in a trap. Let's let it go. It's in a fish net, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go get it. Yeah, he's stuck in an old fishing net. See that old net? I you I'm, I'm about to go in reverse here. I'll have you steer me. Uh, and we got an old net here with a white breasted water hen in it. I'm gonna let this guy go. Okay, come here, buddy. No, don't go underwater. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, stop. Stop paddling. I got him. Oh, you're super emaciated. You've been in here a while, huh, buddy? Mm, he's been stuck here a long time. Okay, so we'll get this cleared, buddy. Clear the what's up. No, it's not his skin. He's very emaciated. He's been stuck in here probably for days, you know? I don't know if he's going to make it. He's pretty weak. Gosh, he's got layers and layers and layers of net. Okay. Get away from the net. Yeah. I'll back up here. Okay. Little white brace of water hand. Don't get us stuck in it. We're not stuck in it. We can't get. Let's get him uh, somewhere closer to shore where he can get back up and start eating. He's very weak. I don't know if he's going to make it. At least he'll have it. What do they eat? Insects? They eat insects. Can't they swim? They can. Well, I want to get clear of this net. Okay, buddy. We're going to let you go. Hopefully you can still swim. I don't know if you can. You have the energy. Can you swim? There he goes. Oh, they could die. Cool. Cool. 
sure he's if he, there he goes right there he just ran up the shore cool all right saved a white breasted water hen from a derelict net well back at it this afternoon they say that uh, these snakeheads will sometimes bite better in the afternoon during their thailand winters it's hard to believe this is cold weather for them but you know temps temps do get substantially hotter during the summertime when they are more active oh that was a hit right there dang it i missed it try again with a different lure see if i can't get him to commit now that's more action than we had all morning. Couldn't get him to come back for. Let's crank bait though. Just won't do it. That's at least promising. To have a nice blow up. So yesterday we had three blow ups in the evening. This morning we had none whatsoever. It's crazy. But maybe afternoon fishing is where it's at here. So in a few months they'll start spawning and uh, once they go to spawn they have these big uh, fry balls that the mother and father snakehead tend to and the fry balls are bright red so the fry are bright red so you see this big ball of red you can cast to it with things like crankbaits and jerkbaits and spinnerbaits and you can catch them that way but during this season it's more just kind of a searching an appropriate habitat which you know a lot of the stuff i've seen is they're all in these stick-ups but i'm intending to find most of my bites on the edge of lotus or sort of on these steep banks actually well there's actually less cover i don't know why that is i certainly miss my pedal drive kayak that's for sure i could fish this a thousand times more effectively in this wind uh, we'll go with it. That's what we got. There, there. That one. A nice one, too. Ah, I assume he got me in the sticks. Uh, he's got me in the sticks. I'm wrapped. Yeah, I don't know how he—he's got the hook of the lure in the stick. There, got it. Cool. That's a big hampala barb. So this is a hampala barb. Very, very popular fish in Thailand. Really pretty too. Gorgeous fish. Okay. All right, we're gonna get that beautiful fish going. And Paula Bar, look at that color on the tail there. Man, that's pretty. There's two different species. One has a spot, one doesn't. Alright, let's get that guy going. See ya. Oh, you had him. You got him. Little guy. What the hell is that? That's a, it's a baby giant snakehead. Look how the red coloration on him. Look how pretty they are when they're juveniles. You want me to net it? Look at the colors on that. Look at that hungry guy. That is a hungry little giant snakehead. So Sidra got a little juvenile giant snakehead here. Shows how aggressive they are. Look at the colors on that thing. Damn. It's pretty. On the frog. See you, buddy. First one. Is it baby? Is it baby? All right, guys, so here's the kayaks I've been using. They provide these Hanuman kayaks. Uh, they're kind of an interesting design. They got three seats, so if you want to run it tandem, you can sit person in the back in the front, or if you're going to go out solo, sit in the middle. Got a couple of uh, built-in storage pockets, and there's four rod holders, which is kind of nice, which have been handy. Not very comfortable, but uh, they do get the job done. I, I wish I would have uh, brought some clip-in seats or something. I think that would have made a big difference. But my butt and tailbone certainly don't feel good after a full day in there. But they are nice, nice enough to get the job done, and you don't have to go far 
the fishing grounds. I've caught lots of snakehead within short paddling distance of our resort, which is just stunning and beautiful, and the rooms are just incredibly nice. Also, the food has been really good. We got big barbecue and Thai dinner sets both nights we've been out here. It's been a pretty amazing experience. Really stunning. So this is uh, this whole reservoir is surrounded by national park. You can hear wild uh, peafowl out on the in the mountains. It's a pretty special place. A heron. Is that a fish? Yeah, I got a fish. Nice! Oh, he's off! Dang it! It's a snakehead. I didn't set the hook very well because I thought I hit twigs, you know? That sucks. One more cast and we'll go. Each. Make sure it's a good one. Probably our last probable snakehead chance. Go for it, Sid. Going out deep, huh? Yep. Got one. Another one. Another little guy. Gosh. Got him. He's off. Last cast. Last cast fish. You believe that? That's crazy. That's cool. That was kind of fun to say like this is it last chance to catch a snakehead. No, I want to cast one more. <laughs> <laughs> jerk bait seems to be tearing them up. Stephen. Yeah, it does right now. That's gonna be my last little snakehead in Thailand. I think um, I'll try in the morning, but the bite's been really lousy in the mornings in our experience. Still cute little dude, catching a few on these jerk baits for sure. Anyways, get one more shot in the morning, but uh, it's been a really great trip out here catching giant snakehead. In North Thailand. All right, that does it for me, guys. I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye bye.